So, today I'm going to make a Coal Pits Crystal Oscillator. And the whole purpose of this is so I can then test these crystals and see if they're any good. Well, then I've got a few other ones. And boy, is that ever going back in date. Uh, I took this basically from this website here. They provided a table. And I'm picking the inch middle area. So I'll be using a 220... Uh, picofarad capacitor with 150 picofarad capacitor and an R3 I'm picking about 5.1 so I'm just taking the middle ground there uh, for all of these R1 and R2 are 33k and I'll be populating it onto a little board like this which is numbered lettered so all I have to do is fit the surface mount components into the proper places. And I'm not going to bore you with all the soldering, so hopefully it's now done. And presto, it's built. Soldering the components on one side, then doing all the interconnecting wiring on the other side, actually worked out a lot better. Um, may not have been much faster, but it sure looks a lot prettier. So, now I'll hook up a battery to it and try some different crystals. In one moment. So, now that's all hooked up. Battery, probe, oscilloscope, a different focal distance. I'll insert this is a uh, four meg. And it reads three point nine 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 two four megahertz. I would say that crystal is good and the circuit is working. I'll try now uh, 6 megahertz. Let me just can't look at the camera and put this in at the same time. Okay. And it reads 5.9978. So it's uh, definitely working in the mid range. Now I think I've got a 24 meg, and 20 meg, and it's not working. Not a hope. I kind of figured that might happen. And let's see, let's just try one more. Uh, 4.915. 4.9143. I would say this is working quite nicely, other than for the high. Now just give me a moment, I'm going to show you a problem I ran into. Okay, I put the 6 megahertz back in, but now I'm actually powering it from my desktop, or, um, my other power supply, and it's now working fine. Previously, it was glitchy all over the place, so maybe I just had a bad contact in there. But, this does work. And I suspect if I change the capacitors down to around uh, 30 or 30 picofarads, uh, maybe it'll work for the higher frequencies. But if I'm going to do that, I'll just make a separate board. That's it. Have a good day. And bonus time. So here's no crystal attached, probe attached. 
hooked up the battery. Output is nothing. And when I turn on my benchtop power supply, it's radiating enough noise that the leads pick it up. That's different. 